Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we entered the 100 Acre Woods, or 100 Acre Woods, I should say. 100, jeez. Been looking at that title of the episode too much. 100. Anyways. <laughs> Look, Pooh, something is floating this way. I think you're right, Piglet. What could it be? And just so you guys know, I'm using Camtasia for the first time. And that's why that little volume thing entered, so... And I didn't know how to get rid of it. But, oh well. You live and learn. Why? It looks like Eeyore. Hello, Eeyore. If it is you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Winnie the Pooh. So simple and wonderful. Anyways. Hello, Pooh. Yes, it's me. Could you pull me out? That is, if it's not too much trouble. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> Floating away. Oh, a poor thing. Hmm. Anyways, how is everyone doing today? It is Sunday the 20th. Oh, I need to pay my phone bill. Crap. Uh, I don't have any money. Jeez. And we rescue Eeyore. Anyways, thank you, Pooh. Thank you, other you. You know, floating along out there, it seemed like something was missing. And something's still missing. Why, Eeyore's tail is gone! Dun 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 dun! Is that what's missing? Let's see. Yep, lost it again. Wonder where it went this time. It's not that much of a tail, but it is mine. Sora, why don't we go looking for Eeyore's tail? Sure! Lost something? Oh no! Hoot hoot. What do you want, Owl? Hoot hoot. Searching from high place is the quickest way to find it. Owl, can you fly up high and help us find Eeyore's tail? Sorry, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. Too much reading, you know. But I can offer good advice. Of course you don't have to... See that swing up there? You're a bit too big for the swing, but Pooh should fit nicely. I'll tell you more when you get there. And it is such a chore to get up there. <laughs> Gosh. Basically, originally I forgot that you have to lock on their Pooh Bear. And he's supposed to follow you. And I'm just like looking at him. Dude, follow me. Ha ha, I figured it out. I swing the key plate at you. And then he just stops. And you're like, why? Why Pooh Bear, why? So if you keep ahead of him just a little ways, and you should be fine. But it just takes thousand years. Ugh. And you also have to be careful because if you accidentally press the lock button again and he's right next to a honey pot right there, like so, he just goes for the honey. Completely ignoring you. How rude. Only cares about himself. <laughs> and his, his tummy. His rumbly tumbly. <laughs> Anyways. <gasps> oh my goodness. So, just continue on your merry little way, and again, takes a million years. I'm just trying to find something to say. So yeah, this episode is going to be a little longer than the others, because the this area kind of took me a while. Well, not too long, because I edited out all the, the whoopsies and whatnot. Pooh Bear, come up here. Seriously, right now. <laughs> Yeesh. All of a sudden, I want to watch Ted again. I swear, the movie Ted is Winnie the Pooh only for adults. If that makes any sense at all. Anyways. So, he hops onto the swing. And it's just kind of... Not... Well, I wouldn't say self-explanatory, but... This game is so picky of how you do this minigame. It's ridiculous. Coffee... Hmm, like this. Like this? Yes, you gotta push. Press R1 to give Pooh Bear a push. Press R1. How's this? Splendid, splendid, splendid. <laughs> Here's the next step. Press R1 before he swings back to the bottom. If you time it right, 
Yeah, basically just gotta press R1 perfectly. So I, I had to do this game two times before, but thankfully if you mess up you don't have to bring Pooh Bear back up to the hill, it just transfers you back over there. So. And voila. And voila. There we go. <laughs> uh, and he, oh, the little hut made of sticks. Hmm, that looks familiar. And we find his tail. And everyone is so happy. How's it looking? Not much of a tail, but it is mine. There we go. <laughs> but it's mine. Yep, it is your tail, Eeyore. Does anyone remember the... It wasn't one of the more popular ones, but it was like Eeyore's birthday. It was one of the old movies, and... I don't know, basically it was like some kind of introduction to Eeyore. Not really an introduction, but it was like... Based more on his character. I want to watch that one all of a sudden. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. I love Eeyore. He's so cute. <laughs> one of my friends, she went to Disneyland and, you know, they have the mascots there and stuff. She was basically following around Eeyore the entire time. She told me, the guy probably thought that I was a nut or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, probably. Because she loves Eeyore so much. This here's my bouncing spot. Ooh. Brian is online. Hi, Brian. Yeah, I have my Skype going because I'm supposed to record, I think, a Minecraft video with him today. But at the same time, it's like, I want to watch some football. I don't want to be sitting here all day waiting for him to show up, so I don't know. I do want to record some Minecraft. I'm not very good at it, though. Pretty sure I mentioned this in the last video, I don't know. Bounce this way, please, brownies. My mommy made brownies, and she saved two for me. Because I'm a spoiled brat. <laughs> hmm, I thought I was about to burp. How ladylike of me. So, basically, this bouncing game, uh, it's alright. Problem is, is that you don't do the high jump, you do a normal jump, I think. Which is incredibly annoying, because if you fall short, you have to start all over and watch the cutscenes all over again. It's just... Bleh. So. But anyways. Um. Yeah, work last night. It was alright. I don't know. At the very end of the shift, I was just about ready to scream, but, you know, just one of those days. And working in retail is just... It's awesome, man. Ooh, uh, I have been... Uh, I recorded some games with Zodiac X Theory. So, I'm going to put them in my playlist of LPs I've guest co-commentated on, so that way you guys can watch it too. And you'll see the true me come out. Well, no. Not not really. This is pretty much my natural self, but when I have fun, I tend to go a little crazy. So. Yes, Tigger, what you looking for? Tell me. You're doing fantastical. Why, thank you. No one has complimented me in a long time. Well, no, that's not true. I've received some very nice compliments the last few days. So. Oh. oh, I hated this part. First time I ever played this game, I was just feeling during this jumping segment over and over and over again. Stupid freaking tree. That and the camera is not helpful at all in this game. <laughs> some of the time. It's fine half the time. Other The other half I'm just like, <laughs> I'm failing miserably. Yeah. Yeah, it's torturous. Anyways. Jump. Yeah, basically I'm having to be precise because it's like, I don't want to do this all over again. And that would bore you guys, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. 
Oh, I don't know. I'm just feeling... Oh, what am I feeling today? I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling today. There's a little treasure in there. And that's how you break open the log. And there's a lot of stuff to do in here. Such as you have to gather um, rare nuts for owl. But you can only get them one at a time. Which can get very old very quickly. Because if you position yourself just right in this little segment, you can get all of them in one try. But no, you have to spread it all out, don't you, Owl? This tree doesn't have any honey. Well, why are you here then? You silly man. <laughs> you silly man bear? Man bear pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. <laughs> See Piglet right there. <laughs> Piglet! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I want to watch South Park, dang it. Oh, come on, don't do that to me. I hate it when the computer screen do goes dark on me. Anyways. I'll have to probably cut that a little bit out. Anyways. Whew. I want my brownies, but I shouldn't eat while I am recording. That would just be rude and torturous. So yeah, I'm just being a little dumb butt right here. I'm just like, oh, what do I do? I don't know. I haven't played this game in like three years. Yeah, I'm trying to get the nut right there, but obviously since the game is so picky of how you get items in this game, uh, I will tell me. Red nuts grow on these trees. Please go get them for me, like right now. Or else I will hoot hoot in your face. Hoot hoot. Hmm. I wish I had an Xbox 360. Wishful thinking again. I apologize. <gasps> I bought yesterday. I bought um 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 Super Mario Galaxy 2. Okay, this Camtasia. What are you doing to me? You being silly. Anyways, um, yeah, Super Mario Galaxy 2 for $8.50, because I got it used at my work, and with my employee discount, oh, it was beautiful. Well, I didn't save too much money on it, because the marked price was ten ninety nine, but still, that was pretty dang awesome. That, and it didn't cost me $40, like some other games in there, so it's like, ha! <laughs> I win. And I haven't made much progress in Super Mario Galaxy. Because, you know, with school and with my Nintendo Wii being at my boyfriend's house, it's like, aw, silly. But that's alright. Because that means, oh, no nothing will distract me while I try to do my studies. <laughs> Lies. I'll be recording videos. I will be watching videos on YouTube, I'll be talking to my new friends from YouTube, and just yada yada yada. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it though. Um, I turned in, you know, a couple of papers for my English class. I got a 4.0 on a paper. I've never done that, never in an English class. Back at a uh, community college, I struggled to get through those classes because the teacher was an absolute D-bag. It's true. <laughs> and trust me, I don't say that usually about people, but if I do, it means they deserve it. <laughs> I'm such a mean and awful person. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's one. Yeah, see, you can only get one at a time. Because this game is cruel. You're as cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice. Yeah. See right here, I try to get another one. I keep jumping over and over and over again. I'm just like, what the fuck, man? See, there's two of them. Ah! So, and of course, I just can't figure it out that, yeah, maybe I can only carry one at a time. April, seriously, just go down to Owl. I should have edited this part out. Oh, well. I don't care. 
Yeah, I might edit this part out. I don't know. So I give up. <laughs> oh, splendid. Here's something in return. Thanks. You pile. Anyways, Roo. Kangaroo. <laughs> And go back down. And the more nuts you give him, like the better stuff that you get for it. So I think at the end he gives you another Ori Calcum thing for synthesizing. So speaking of which I have almost synthesized everything. The only things I haven't been able to synthesize is uh I need all the goodies from Hollow Bastion, so Probably eventually, um, I will hopefully be able to record maybe sometime this week. I have no idea. Um, the next few segments of Hello Bastion and whatever comes before that, because I know that there are some cutscenes beforehand. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, are we already 16 minutes in? Goodness gracious. And then there's, I think, one more rare nut. Anyways. Ah, stop it! Computer! Wah! I love the camera in this. It's a piece of junk. Anyways. So yes. Maybe I'll just keep my hand on the mousey pad. Maybe that'll help. I've been trying to fiddle with my computer to figure out how can I not let it go to sleep. You know, like in the control panel or something. Of course, I'm such a tard when it comes to computers these days. Because I get used to one thing, and then technology is just... Ugh, it keeps changing every day, and it's like, no, I can't, I can't keep up. Slow down, technology. Why? That kind of thing. Anywho's owl, give me your monies. See? Or he calcum. Yay, look at all these nuts. I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. Now give me money. Because that was such a chore in the beginning. I'm such a little meanie head. Many hoes. And torn page turned into a new item. Hooray. So then I figured out, hey, where's the last spot of the, of the game? I don't understand. So... Or not the game, the book, I should say. So I figure out, oh, maybe I don't have all the pages. <laughs> Dang it! Like I said beforehand in the last couple of episodes. So I head back outside, and there was a yellow trinity, and there was one treasure box right behind that. So. But yeah, we are about to come to an end in this episode. So. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for this long. I know that this was a long episode, but just in general, thank you for sticking with me. Aha! Dalmatians! Dalmatians are so cute! Puppies! I can't get over how cute they are. I know it's a video game. Leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways. This is Rising Phoenix A9 2012, and I will talk to you all later. See ya!